Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk on Social Mapper. My name is Jacob Wilkin. Uh, my handle is Greenwolf. So let's get into it. So, what is Social Mapper? According to the fake news media that's been around for the last couple of days, it has no value to mankind. It's worse than China for internet anonymity. There's been comparisons to Hitler, Stalin, and someone called President Mao. Um, <laughs> and it's also been rejected on Reddit NetSec because it's not technical. <laughs> so, yeah. But what is it really? So, Social Mapper is a social media enumeration and correlation tool. It works on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Google Plus, VK, which is a Russian social media site, and Weibo Anti-Ban, which are um, Chinese social media slash micro-blogging sites. So what does it do? It takes you from names and images, such as this, uh, just a folder full of people's uh, faces with a first name, space, last name, image. It starts correlating across sites to produce reports full of target profiles, you know, finishing off with things like this, um, so you can see a person's presence uh, across social media sites. So, why do you want it? For social media phishing! So, social media phishing is on the rise. It's now a preferred vector. Uh, I believe in 2017 it went up 500%, and 100% again uh, so far in 2018. So that's a tenfold increase in the last two years. Um, potentially more by the end of 2018. Um, and the reason why everyone's uh, starting to fish on social media is because of the click rate. So if your friend uh, contacts you on social media, there's a, you're 33% likely to click on it, whereas only 11% if someone contacts you via your business email. So um, the other reason is because with social media phishing that you can do two types of phishing. You can fish on the service, so you can uh, send people messages on Facebook or LinkedIn, or you can do pretext around the site, um, you know, sending Facebook code of conduct updates or something like that via email. So how does it work? So Social Mapper has three phases. Um, the first phase is the setup phase. Um, so there's three ways you can run Social Mapper. You can uh, feed in a CSV um, with uh, names and links to images online. You can feed in an, a folder full of images, uh, JPEGs or PNGs, like the picture I showed you earlier. Or you can just feed in just the name of a company on LinkedIn, which I think is where the real power of it comes. You, know, you just feed in um, a, single, yeah, a single name of a company. So uh, also with Social Mapper, you can fully customize your enumeration. Um, so you can choose between uh, accuracy or speed. So if you like run in fast mode, it, will, it runs quickly because it, it goes through the list. Uh, once it's downloaded all the pictures of your targets after you've done a search, it, it basically comes back and um, it goes down the list and does uh, and that first match that it finds, it will just report that. But on accurate mode, which obviously takes longer, it will go down the list and it will keep going um, past and find the very best match out of all the people that it finds. Um, you can set the facial recognition threshold, so you can, um, uh, if you set it high, you will get less results, but they will be more accurate. If you set it really low, you will get more results and you will potentially find people who don't look quite right in their Christmas photo or something, um, but you'll also get false positives along with them. So it's really how you want to run it and what you want the results for. Um, you can also obviously pick which sites you want to run. You don't have to run it on all of them. You pick whichever ones you want to run. So phase two, this is where the real meat of Social Mapper is um, in the, the mapping phase. So how it works is um, basically uh, you, you, you start it off in the, in the terminal uh, with how, whatever your input type is. And, and from your, the input types, it builds a, a list of um, of, uh, of people, uh, and then uh, with the, the name and with the image. And then what it does is it searches on the various social media sites. You can see it happening now in the browser. Uh, when you run it yourself, it, it, the browser doesn't run uh, by default. It will just be all happening in the terminal. It will be running in headless mode, uh, which really sp speeds this up. But um, obviously, I'm just showing this for demo purposes. So what it starts doing is it, it puts the name in. It's, it's instrumenting uh, the Firefox web browser using Selenium and searching on all these social media sites after it's logged in with your credentials that you give it. 
and then it searches for the name and then downloads all the profile pictures of the top 20 to 30 people on, uh, with that name and then performs facial recognition on them to find the actual um, person uh, for the match. So um, you get your results. Uh, I like putting it in verbose mode here. Um, you get your results all on screen, um, obviously, because if you don't install a dependency and you wait 15 hours, it's a real pain um, when you don't get any results at the end. <laughs> that has happened to me. Um, so stage three, um, this is the reporting phase. So Social Mapper spits out a few uh, different report types of reports for you um, to feed into other things. So first, the HTML report is just used for quick enumeration, uh, verification of your results, uh, nice and easy to scan through uh, and see the people you've, you've got. Um, it chucks out CSV reports, so you've got um, all the different uh, social media profiles for each person on each line. Um, just CSV reports for compatibility. You can take these report, uh, so this CSV report, and feed it into something like Multigo. Get some really nice graphs um, showing everyone and all your targets and their social media profiles. Um, you can just see. So, so this this slide is just to show you. You know, all I put in here is my company's name. Um, and then it's come back uh, with 779 results because it's gone on LinkedIn, it's done a reverse search for all the employees, um, pulled them all out, and then found all their social media profiles across all the different sites. So uh, the, the last thing that uh, Social Mapper does is if you provide it with a fuzzy email format, so you can provide it with something like um, first initial last name at domain.com, then it will take the people's names. This isn't new, other tools do this, but it will take the, uh, the, the person's name, generate an email address for them, and then uh, generate you these, uh, these CSV files for each individual social media site, so one for Facebook, Google+, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and so on. And then the basic point of this is um, that you can take these CSV files and feed them into phishing tools such as uh, Lucy or GoFish, um, and then you have everything you need in there in each column uh, for their uh, Facebook site, say, to transfer them to after you've got their credentials and you've got the profile picture there to include in the phishing pretext, you know, add a bit of realism to the, to the phishing pretext. Um, and it just, yeah, just every, you have everything there to, um, yeah, to feed into other tools. And that's it, guys. That's uh, yeah, Social Mapper. It's available free on GitHub. Um, created by me, Jacob Wilkin. Thank you very much. <laughs>